carefully now. Any first impressions, Miss Hart? They appear to have drowned. I won't know much more until after the postmortem. Very good. Who found them? Constable Crabtree and I. I see. Sir, one of the maids found this inside. Seems to be a suicide note. To our darling daughters, we are sorry your mother and I have become exhausted by our constant dissatisfaction and can take no more. Signed by both Franklin and Louise Westerbrook. A double suicide, then. Let's not jump to conclusions too quickly. Did you notice anything different about the couple? I mean, any excess of melancholy? No, not at all. But then you only started working a couple of weeks prior to today. Well, yes. I've heard that Mrs. Westerbrook was a difficult woman, but I simply think she had high standards. So you enjoyed working for them? I did. Do you think anyone had animosity towards them? Oh, I'm not one to know that. I do know that they were very extravagant in their wealth. That must ruffle some feathers. So you believe the burglar might have known the Westerbrooks? Everyone knew that they had money. Certainly appears something was taken. Hmm. We'll have to check this area and the butler's pantry for finger marks. I've instructed the constables. Do you think this burglar killed the Westerbrooks? Even if there was an altercation, wouldn't he simply kill them and flee? Why go all the way out to the pool and stage a double suicide? Perhaps it truly was suicide. Unusual, but not completely without precedent. And this burglary was just an unlucky coincidence. Mm -hmm. Extremely unlucky, if you ask me.